be Bulgarian. We used to have a mandatory four-year conscription into the army when we were still in the Union. Both grandfathers and my father were conscripted. Both my father and his father share stories about the army. My other grandfather doesn't. I asked my mother why one day. She tells me he saw an unclean spirit. What? Go to my grandfather and ask him what happened. Dodges the question for a while before telling me to have a seat while he tells the story. Begins by draining half a bottle of wine in one go. Like many conscripts, he was put on border patrol. Had to patrol five kilometers of the Turkish border all the time. All he had was a coat and a rifle. He was under orders to shoot any Muslims trying to cross the border and escape to Turkey. He said he constantly passed through ruined farms and sometimes villages, either destroyed in the First or Second War, or just deserted because they were too far from civilization. Somewhere along the way, he'd passed through an old graveyard. That's where he met her. At this point, he starts tearing up. Says she was the love of his life. He's crying and talking about how beautiful she had been. At this point, grandmothers heard something's going on and comes to check on us. Sees grandfather crying and hears his mumbling. Grabs me by the ear and drags me into another room. Don't let him fill your head with his rambling. I'll tell you what fucking happened. She tells me the story as one of grandfather's friends in the barracks told her a long time ago. Every time grandfather would go on patrol, he'd return incredibly pale, cold and tired. In the middle of the hottest months of summer. Stops eating at all. Vacant look, nearly unresponsive when spoken to. His mates just think he's not cut out for army life, and leave him alone for a while. Still, they are a superstitious bunch, and when he starts acting too weird for them, one of them thinks my grandfather has been bewitched by something. They decide to tie a cross to his neck before he sets out to patrol. Doesn't even resist, just mumbles something incoherent. When he returns that night, the cross has been torn from his neck. Suddenly gets a fever, insists he continues going on patrol. His mates decide they've had enough of this shit and follow him. He largely ignores them. They reach the graveyard. They finally see... Her. She's awkwardly standing near the graveyard fence with her arms outstretched on either side like a scarecrow. Wearing a burial gown, which doesn't blow in the wind. She suddenly turns to my grandfather and starts walking to him. Without bending her knees. Awkwardly closes her arms around Grandfather without bending her elbows. They stand there, with Grandfather whispering something to her for about two minutes. His buddies decide they've seen enough, and jump in to separate them. Grandfather goes completely batshit, and starts hissing and clawing at them like a wild animal. The woman just returns to her original pose, and stands completely still. No breathing. Her eyes are completely white. Grandpa's buddies are convinced whatever this is, it isn't alive. Drag her into the graveyard, where they find a really messy grave. Dig in it for a bit. It's empty. Woman remains completely still while they drag her into the grave. They decide to bury her with boulders before soil. Return to see her standing upright in her grave, pelted with boulders and buried. Grandfather recovers from the fever in an hour. Believes to this day she was just some village girl he met on the road. My grandmother thinks he was bewitched by a vampire. Pretty spooky, though they might just be fucking with me.